Hey guys, welcome to another video. I'm Sean from visibledark.ca and welcome to all of the new subscribers. Fantastic to see everybody subscribing like they are. I really appreciate it. It's great to know that the videos I'm producing are being watched and that they're helpful. Um, I get to interact with people that I have never met before, but I'm getting to see some of the astrophotography work that you guys are doing and it's really fantastic and I really love seeing the images and if you have any questions or anything that I can help with I will certainly try to help out. So one thing I get asked a lot is uh, a pretty simple thing to do in PixInsight but PixInsight can be such a beast as we know uh, that when you're learning it uh, getting familiar with it um, it's sometimes hard to know uh, what it is you're supposed to do and how you're supposed to do it to get this uh, simple some of these simple things done uh, accomplished so uh, one of the things that I get asked a lot is uh, very simply how do you make a color image in PixInsight well that's not that hard to do and uh, we're gonna look at how that's done coming up right now <laughs> Okay, so we are in PixInsight and we've got our red, uh, green, and blue channels open. Um, we want to combine these into a color image. So as I said, this is something that I get asked and it's really simple to do. Um, we wanna go to process, we wanna go to color spaces, and we wanna go to channel combination. Once channel combination is open, we want to make sure that we're working in the RGB color space, so make sure that's selected. And then we simply want to select our RG and B files. Um, now you can do that two ways. You can go to the select channel and you can locate your red channel and do that for the green and the blue as well. Or another little quick tip, you can just drag and drop. So let's grab the blue and we'll drag it over. We'll grab the green, we'll drag it over, and the red, we'll drag it over. So now we've got our R, G, and B files, source images, in the channel combination tool. And we're going to hit the apply global button, the round blue circle. And that's going to give us this image here, which we can rename RGB. Now, if we do a quick uh, screen transfer on that, we can see that we now have color appearing in our image because we've combined the red, green, and the blue. And that's exactly how simple it is to create a color image in PixInsight. Uh, the other things that you'll want to do at this point, of course, um, this is just the beginning of your processing, but you'll want to color balance this. And one quick way to do that is go to uh, scripts under utilities and auto color. Now, if you don't have the auto color script um, installed in your PixInsight, check out my other video um, with regards to easy color calibration in PixInsight. It'll give you a brief tutorial on how to use the auto color script and it'll also tell you where you can get it and how you can install it. This is a really handy script to have, makes uh, color calibration very quick and, and simple. Of course, there are other methods to do it, um, but in this particular video, we'll just use the auto color script and we click that. And there we have our color calibrated image and it's all ready for us to uh, begin processing. So just to recap, um, this we took our RGB uh, files that we've uh, created by stacking and um, we've gone to process and we've gone to color spaces and we've opened channel combination and from there we've simply selected our red, green and blue channels select the red select the green and select the blue. We hit our global apply button and we end up with an RGB image that we can now begin processing. Okay, and that's it. So it's not really difficult to do in PixInsight. Um, 
I haven't used Photoshop in a long time for astrophotography, for image processing. I strictly use PixInsight at this point. It's actually a better value if you compare it price point wise, uh, and it's dedicated to astrophotography, PixInsight is, as opposed to Photoshop. But that doesn't mean that you can't get good results in Photoshop. You can, I used it for many years when I was starting out. I've just gravitated and learned a lot, um, and now I prefer to use PixInsight. So some of these things are just done differently. They're just in a different menu area. They're called something different and we just have to learn that and understand um, how the, the learn the PixInsight language basically. And once you do that, you'll start figuring things out and it'll start happening really easily for you and you'll get really good at it and you'll enjoy PixInsight even more. So hit that subscribe button everybody. I really appreciate those people that have subscribed and I look forward to more people subscribing. Uh, like the video if it was helpful um, and check out some of my other videos that I talk about Pix and Sight or the astronomy hobby. Anyways, thanks very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.